Hello, I'm going to show you a really great thing about Google Scholar in terms of citation searching. Um, and I also want to show you what I've done here at the library. This is Rhonda, your librarian, and we're going over Google Scholar. Go to databases A to Z. Go to G for Google. And here we have Google Scholar. What I've done is set this up so that it can find full text. If you've used it before, you're probably like, why is this here? This is a very helpful for me because it just takes me to a paywall. Well, it will not do that anymore. Um, let me just try something I have up here. Lived experience and religion. Look over here. You can actually narrow things down. This is composed of primarily scholarly articles. Uh, probably you have quite a few for your final project right now, but if you end up needing more, come here, or if you're working another class. Do you see here where it says Big Ben full text? These should be, about 85% of them, available in our databases. It works over on top of our databases and will take you to the place that has it. Here, I don't see that this one is true. So I'm always going to keep my failures in there. So I would ask a librarian where it might be. And here we will find out if it gives us something. It lets us know it's in these different databases. And we can click here and go to that article. The other one we could put on interlibrary loan. But one of the main things I wanted to show you about uh, Google Scholar is you can do citation searching. So suppose this was really quite a great article for me. Um, it was written in 2000. It's been cited 267 times. That's pretty awesome for a, a for this topic in this particular discipline. So I did that so fast. So what I want to do is look at those 267. I may not be able to get to them all. You can always request these on interlibrary loan. But see, if you click on this, you're going to get a paywall. If you click on this, you're going to be able to go to a place that it is sheltered. And here it is, available to you in full text. So I want to make sure you understand, if you go to the title, you'll hit a paywall. If you go over here, you're going to find a place to find it for free. Here, Big Ben CC, full text. And we should go to a place that will take us to, I'll let you know it's an academic search premiere, and our psychology and behavioral science place. So while well, that's really great to know, and that will add to your scholarly articles if you need them here, what if you've picked a great scholarly article already and you want to find something like it, you can come here and search the title. You can also do keyword searches as well. But this is another great thing about here. Do you see this? This is a quotation. These are not often right, but sometimes they'll have quite a few pieces that you might not have been able to find. These are books and... Um, we're not really using books. Let me see if I can find something else. Oh, here. So if you're missing a piece, a page number, you don't understand something, um, I would come here and look at this. You know this is the author. You know that this will be the publication date. This will be the title. And the title is correct. Nothing is capitalized except for the ilm, and there's no uh, colon, and there's no noun phrase or noun phrases. And the Journal for the Theory of Social Behavior, everything should be capitalized except the for, the the, and the uh, articles, prepositions, conjunctions. And you'll see that the 36, like the journal name, is italicized. This is the issue number, and we have a beginning and ending page number, period. And sometimes if you can't find something or you've lost something in your notes, this is a place to go. It's not going to be correct, usually, but it's going to be really close, and you can use it. So, Google Scholar useful for you actually finding full text scholarly materials instead of going through all of the databases on um, the database list looking for a scholarly article you could just come here and it'll search a couple of them for you also you can find out if you find one good article you can find who cited it and may be able to find other articles and here you can figure out how to cite something to some degree and a lot of times this has been helpful for me in terms of finding page numbers so those are the great things that you should know about Google Scholar and it may or may not be helpful for you at this point in this class, but I know it's going to help you in the future. And as always, I'm not your librarian just now. I'm your librarian during your research life. So always reach back to me and I'll be glad to talk to you about this.